Today we're going to look at spreadsheets in Google. Spreadsheets are called sheets. And spreadsheets are organized by workbooks. And in that workbook, this is all one workbook, and in that workbook you will see sheets. This is a worksheet. This one beside it is a worksheet. If you wanted to create another worksheet, all you'd have to do is click the plus sign and a new worksheet. If you want to rename that worksheet, you will rename it second nine weeks. So let's go back to worksheet. Let's go back to this worksheet. And you will notice that in the spreadsheet, each worksheet contains a collection of cells. This is a cell. This is a cell. This is a cell. And all of these cells make up the worksheet. The cells are arranged in a grid pattern of columns. So you have column A, column B, column C. And the columns are in alphabetical order. That's how they're named. So when you get to Z, it starts over at AA and AB. And then you keep going. You can have as many as 18,278 columns. But there are no limits over here on the rows. So this is your row and a row, and a row, and rows are on the left, and they are arranged horizontally, whereas columns are arranged vertically. Now, when you see the intersection of a cell at the column and the row, you call it by the column name first and the row name second. So this is cell D2, and this is cell F10, and this is cell B3. If you will notice across the top here, you have a row, and this is a header row, and it gives names to the um, particular content in a column. So this is first name, this is last name, this is home row, this is class participation, and this just identifies the information in this column. So, what we're going to do is we're going to sort this data. And we're going to sort first name and last name. And the easiest way to do that is to click in this cell right here underneath FX. And if you'll notice, the whole worksheet turned blue. So that means that the spreadsheet has been selected. This one, the whole all of the information in this sheet has been selected and that will make it easier to sort. So we're going to click on data and sort the range and we just mentioned that there is a row at the top that is your header row and so we're going to click that because we do have a header row we don't want to sort that data and in this case I'm going to sort by last name from A to Z, which is ascending order. And then I'm going to add another column, yours. You can add as many columns as you want and sort by however you want to. In this case, I'm going to select by first name and I want this sorted A to Z. So I want the last name sorted first and then the next sort I want applied to the first. So when I click sort, you will notice that column B is in alphabetical order, A to Z. But you can sort all kinds of things. You don't have you can sort anything you want. So I'm gonna go back and I'm select my spreadsheet. I'm gonna go to data. And this time when I sort my range, I'm gonna to continue to always click data has a header row. And this time all I want to do is I want to find out on quiz two, I want to find out who had the lowest grade and then all the way up to ascending who has the highest grade. So I'm going to sort and you will notice that on quiz two, Jack Horner has a 60 and then Peter Pan has a 98. So that's the way you sort your data.